What's going on? If this is your first time tuning into my channel, my name is Hassan El Sadiq, and I make videos. I, I make videos about documenting my journey, uh, building my company, being an entrepreneur, and also being an expat living in Cartagena, Colombia. And what I want to talk about right now is, like I was saying, uh, so I got monetized. Yo, what's up? What's up? What's going on, guys? Um, man, I don't know how this look. I probably shouldn't be driving and also talking at the same time. Um, but I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be all right. I am here back home in Buffalo from Cartagena. If you've been following me, you know that I've spent most of this year besides coming back to visit family in Cartagena, building all dreams. And tomorrow is my mother's birthday. I'll be here for Thanksgiving and I probably will spend the rest of the year uh, here in Buffalo just being with family editing videos and the the great thing is man I got monetized Yo, like, literally, I can't believe it because the video that actually helped me get monetized, like, <laughs> it was something that I shot, like, two years ago, and... Like literally, I just started going through my footage and I just was like, man, like, I just need to start, you know, make an archive online about some of the stuff that I've done because I feel like I was missing the opportunity to do that, you know? Uh, and I uploaded this video and I would, I was like, man, I just hope it get like a thousand views because I was gonna, I'm, was going to keep on uploading these archive videos and uh, <laughs> it had 400 something views when I had looked and then I was like yo this joint is going to hit a thousand views I'm like happy about it I really just let it just sit I, like I like like I said I would I would have been happy with a thousand views few hours later I refreshed and literally it was at like 7,000 views and I'm like yo what the heck is going on here so I called my boy LJ shout out to his channel King LJ Productions 504 great content you know I mean great content and uh not only does he have great content, that's my friend, you know what I'm saying? So, big shout out to him. Um, yeah, so the video was at like 7,000 views and he was like, yo, it's going viral. And I'm like, nah, no way, it's not going viral. And man, lo and behold, the next two days was crazy. And I think I'll make a separate video about what the entire situation with that video because it just wasn't a smooth sailing thing where it's like, man, like, yo, I got a, a viral video. Like, people ask me to take it down and, you know, like, it's just crazy, crazy stuff or whatever. Uh, hold on a second, let me park. So this right here, is Tim Hortons. <laughs> so anytime I'm home, I come here to Tim Hortons because 
I love these donuts. They're these donuts that they have here. The donuts is called like these old-fashioned glazed donuts, and I love them so much that anytime I'm home, I just binge off these donuts. So I'm gonna run in here and go get these donuts real fast. Oh shoot, they only have two of them left. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Can I have two old fashioned glazed donuts, please? Old fashioned glazed, all right. Out of five? What's that noise? My phone. Oh. Old fashioned glazed. Thank you, appreciate it. You too. All right, so I have the goods. So for like, the time that I'm here, I'm probably gonna gain weight because literally, I'll probably eat these donuts almost every single day, no matter how unhealthy it is to eat these donuts <laughs> because I love these donuts so much. So I got monetized, I got monetized. And I wanna talk about my YouTube journey because it's been such a, it's been such a long journey to even get monetized. And it's been a path of maybe make a video this month, maybe don't make a video for six months, maybe don't make a video for eight months. Uh, the consistency just has not been there for me because I mainly because I always want to tell a story and I think that I've been missing out on opportunity and let me explain why I'm saying that I'm saying that because I started YouTube I would say maybe 2010 2011 and for some reason, when people were telling me, yo, you should put your stuff on YouTube, put your videos on YouTube, put what you're doing on YouTube, it just didn't seem like it could be something. And at the time, I was working on this TV show called Swag University, and my goal was to get this TV show on MTV or BT. And the way my mind works, my mind works big, right? My mind works where it's like, man, let's shoot a moonshot. And I never actually got the show on BT or MTV, but I've had so much footage throughout the years. And I think I've been missing out on an opportunity just to share this journey of what's going on in my life, moment by moment. And I wanna tell other people that is you know, thinking about doing YouTube that if you wanna do YouTube for the money, I don't think it's a good idea. I think the best opportunity for YouTube is to do it for your story. And for one thing, we all know we're not going to be here forever. And YouTube is a place where your life can be a capsule, long form. And actually showing your journey, your growth, the hardships, Everything, it's a place for that. And also, I think that I missed out on the opportunity in showing more hardships, showing exactly the things that I was going through, maybe showing when I had to sell my container store or showing when I had a dollar in my bank account which I have all footage of all of this stuff, but I just never showed it. And part 
of the reason I never showed it was because I was worried about what others would think about me. And that's a huge thief of joy. Because even if you're starting something and you have a dollar in your bank account and you're excited about that thing you're starting, you should, you should not be embarrassed about that. Because everything starts from something. Everything starts more or less times where you don't have nothing and you build it up little by little. And showing that journey is a huge opportunity to do it on YouTube. And that's kind of why I'm not going to miss the opportunity again by showing this journey of building this company, All Dreams, in Cartagena. And trust me, I don't have, you know, I don't have anything. I have a, I have a home here in Buffalo. And I'll make a, a separate video about what's going on with that home, but I don't have access to that home. My home is in Cartagena, Colombia, in that small apartment and in the bottom where my business is. That's my home. And I don't want people to miss out on the opportunity to share their journey. And I think that's the main reason I'm really talking about this because the only thing that you really have is, you know, is your story, is, you know, your story, your, the things that you, you have overcame, the things that you're going through, that's your currency, you know, and I think people take that shit so lightly and they need to really, really dial in and take it more serious. Uh, and maybe I got off on a, uh, a, a, a rant, but the thing is, when I started YouTube, I had a video that went viral back at, back back then, where where me and this kid Tafik we did this this get well video for Gronk, and that got put on Barstool Sports, and that video had you know at the time thirty five thousand views. I mean that was a lot of views, and I took it for granted. I took it for granted. I wanted this TV show. I wanted this huge platform. And I thought in terms of, man, YouTube just is not big enough. And now years later, over 10 years later, I come back and say, man, YouTube is the platform. Because uh, for one, for one, all of the creative control goes to the creator. And even if I sold, a, you know, Swag University or somebody picked up that documentary and they said, man, we want you to do it this way. I would have lost a lot of creative control. And I've learned a lot in this, you know, in these times trying to go after uh, a TV show on MTV or uh what else was it? <laughs> a documentary on whatever channel I was trying to pitch or whatever. And I've learned so much through this process. And it just circles all the way back to now getting basically monetized off of a video that's raw footage, basically a five minute video that I shot two years ago. And was and I just thought like yo look maybe let's let me do just archives or whatever of the things that I've done in my life, and the video goes to now three hundred thousand views or whatever, partially more or less because of who's in the video of course right, but the point is you never know, and doing that video and showing raw footage that's also a part of my story as well that I kept on a hard drive to just never even share. I urge people to take your story serious and do not miss out on the opportunity to share your story because you don't know who you're, who you'll inspire, who'll see your video. Um, 
or where a video can take you. you just never know. And I am taking it very, very serious and sharing things like this and just the thoughts that I have because I don't know who I can touch, who I can inspire. And that's the great thing about YouTube. So really take the opportunity serious and share your story. And you will almost see me every single day sharing something of my life. Because for one, I love to make videos and now I'm monetized and it's like, yo, let's try to take this to another level. So I'm gonna go in and I'm going to eat these donuts. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and comment and continue to follow this journey.